Hi everybody, I've been caught in mid cleaning um, by the Phantom photographer and um, just a quick update for you. So we have moved from Bangor to Carrick, the principal reason to be nearer my family um, in these troubled times. Um, we got out just before the lockdown as you saw in the previous episode. So what we want to do is just talk about one or two things. This particular episode that you're going to see coming up is largely consisting of unedited footage that I found on a hard drive, stuff I had lost from a sale we did last year. And since we can't get out to do too much sailing, we thought it would be nice just to have some sailing. So this stuff is very largely unedited. I've just more or less put the clips together end to end. The only editing I've done really is just to fit them into the video editor so that I can make a video to put up. But other than that, I haven't edited the sound, haven't fiddled with the uh, light settings. What you see is what it was like that particular day. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, next bit of news is our sister channel, which is Cook's Tour. Um, we've often wanted to do some cooking in the videos, but really the two don't quite mix the way we want them to. So we're starting a totally separate channel for if you're interested in gluten-free food and cooking and recipes, that will be on Cook's Tour, link up here. And um, I encourage you to go and have a look if you're a keen cook or you want to see how to cook on a sailboat or if you're just interested in that sort of thing. So you can have, have a look at that as well. Large uh, pause uh, while you remind me of what's next. So obviously all our plans are up the Swanee at the minute and we are going to have to alter them because we can't go out sailing. That's the reason I'm giving you a sailing video as best I can. Uh, so. What we're going to do is instead of going off and sailing, which we're not allowed to do at present, we are going to do something totally different. And the Phantom photographer is now going to remind me of what they are. So what we're going to do, now that I've been reminded, uh, is we're going to finish off our winter projects and if we can do things like manoeuvring the boat in the marina or line handling in here or something like that we'll try and do that as in, instead until we can find out what in the name of Ned's going on and we're allowed to go sailing again. So that's the sort of thing we're going to do in here and all I can say is I hope you enjoy the video. It's slightly different format. Tell us what you think. If you like that sort of thing We'll maybe put more raw sailing footage in in future, but if you don't like it, say so, and we won't put more of that sort of stuff in. We'll, we'll edit it and tidy it up. Up to you. Um, we like you to enjoy the channel. Tell us what you think. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Comments down below, and enjoy the sailing. See you. Our plan was to leave Carnarvon and sail west to Greystones. The forecast was south, southwesterly 3 or 4, increasing 5, occasionally 6. What we got was a force 5 westerly dead on the nose, so we diverted to our alternative, Port Dincline on the Clin Peninsula. This is the raw footage that we took on that day, and we hope you enjoy it. Oh, there he is. Well, that sailboat over there is definitely a little bit braver than us. He's got um, his mane fully up, but he has got um, a reef in his jenny. But he certainly was leaning earlier. Okay, so this is our sail plan. This is with three reefs in the main. Tiny scrap of Jenny further in than our reefing points. But they're there. But as you can see, we're only up to the our first spreaders. That's all, we've, you know, for our second spreaders, I mean. Um, that's all we've got. But so what are we doing, Beverly? What? What are we doing? 5.2 overground. 5.2 overground. So, and that's what we've got. 
up there. As far as we're concerned, it's more than enough. It's a mini of mine. Whatever, I know, but you just. Right. Uh, it might be in video mode. It is in video mode. Oh. But you're looking good. I do love to hear the sound of the ocean waves. As always, our plans have gone astray. We were going to go to Greystones in Ireland. Now we're going to go to Port Dinkle in Wales. and I are currently at anchor uh, so um, Beverly's done the calculations and I'm hoping it's all going to be all right but I'll talk and we'll share with those calculations with you in a minute but uh, but we are at least at anchor and um, we're at um, a little place called Port Porth Dinorin no Porth Dinorin I'll have to spell that for you because it's Clearly I haven't got it, but anyway, pretty little place. And I can imagine, because um, we're in autumn now. Well, I like it now actually, to be honest, so it doesn't need to be summer or whatever. I like it now. 
So here we are at Porth Dinnerlin. Okay, so what we've got here is this is where we are currently at one meter, um, one meter. And that's where we are at this moment in time. So we're actually quite low, close to low water. Um, but we've got 2.7 under the keel. So what that means is um, that if it was uh, lower, um, that's 1.7 under the keel at low water. So that's what we've got. Um, at high water, say hi. It's going to be 4.3 metres uh, depth, plus our freeboard and everything. Uh, so that's going to be 5 metres. So Beverly's put out, uh, as <coughs> so we've put out uh, 30 metres of chain. So hopefully we have got our calculations correct, but that's what we've got there.